Hi everybody, so today I'm going to show you a very quick way to start up a new Lumen project. So you can start writing your application without spending hours configuring the environment. So here I have my, uh, my code here. So let me show you the end result first. So I'm going to use Docker Compose app-d and now I go to my browser to, yeah, let me open new tab. Lumen, this is the URL. And you see this is the default, uh, default route. I'm going to add a new route. The code is in SRC. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a new route. So for example, hello, and we return, hey, something like that. Now go back to the browser, we slash hello, and we should see, hey. And we see that now you can start writing your code in your favorite uh, code editor or IDE. So how do we get here? So let me show you how we do that, We uh, how I, I did it. So um, as you can see, I use Docker Compose. So I assume that you have Docker and Docker Compose installed on your machine. And also, and that's it, that, that's it all you need. Uh, you may have PHP and Composer installed on your, your machine too but that is not a strict requirement so the first thing you need to do is to create a domain so you saw that I use uh, lumen.com but I can easily use another domain and you don't have to buy anything so simply edit it in your host let's say I'm going to use CNN for the site which is very famous domain name sudo bin c host this is similar to what on your mac if you're using mac os but on windows that would be in c windows system 32 drivers and sc you can check microservice this is the github repo i have a readme here and that's it this is where this is the file the path of the host file on Windows. So we're going to add a domain here. As you can see that you have I have Lumen here. Let's use another domain. Let's CNN.com. Something like that. And that is the first step. Another step that is inside this, I have a default dot conf five here. This is the Configuration 5 for Nginx, so thing default. And we see that here I have lumen.com here. Let's change that to cnn.com if you prefer. And the last thing, you see that I have port 8089 here. You can use a different port. And if you don't like using ports, you need to change that to 80, which in this file. Make sure your port 80 is free. So I'm going to try this here, 80. And that is all I need to, to do to start the site. Oh, by the way, when you clone the repo from GitHub, you need to, you know, run. We, have, we didn't have a vendor folder here so you, you may need to run uh, c composer install or composer update if you do, don't have composer install and you have or you have problems installing uh, the packages simply go to the root folder go to archives here 
and download this file. I have the the vendor folder included in that. So you just need to do the Docker Compose thing. So first, I'm going to take the site down. Docker Compose. Yeah. And go back to the browser. Yeah. The site is not available. But now if I go to Docker Compose up. You may need to pass. Oh, Eddy is in use. So the Eddy port Eddy is very very famous. So I'm going to you to 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 see which service is using that. Maybe this. Okay, let me let me check. Which one is using port Eddy? Hmm. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, we have what? Telegram? No, no. Hmm. Which one is using Eddie? So, okay, let's let's pass that. Let's use another port, which is way faster. Ah, oh, maybe Eddie. Seven. Make sure that the two folders, uh, the two containers are running. So we have Nginx running on eighty eighty seven here. Let's try it. Now we don't go to Lumen, CNN, and eighty eighty seven. I see that it's working and. Just to add another round. Bye. Bye. Go back. Bye. Bye. So that's it. It's uh, very fast to to have you set up the the environment development environment. So hopefully it is useful to you. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.